So here is a balloon that I filled up with my respiratory gases. Gases coming out of my lungs are mostly N2, little oxygen, but mostly CO2, water vapor, and a lot of nitrogen. And I filled this up, and at this current temperature and pressure, the gases is occupying this volume. Now the reason why it's sustaining this volume is because of the mean free path, the distance that the molecules take, and they move translationally and hit the walls of the container, moving hundreds of miles an hour, creating a pressure when they hit the containers. That pressure outward maintains this shape in this balloon. Obviously, if you pop it, the air comes out, you can't support that pressure, and it deflates. So what I'm going to try to do is deflate it a different way. I'm going to make the molecules of the gas slow down with liquid nitrogen. So I'm going to pour some liquid nitrogen on the balloon, and I'm going to try to cause this balloon to deflate by making the molecules move slower. As temperature drops, so does the average kinetic energy, so therefore the pressure has to drop. If these guys are going to slow down their translational motion, they're not going to collide with the size of the walls as much. So we're going to take liquid nitrogen about negative 200 degrees Celsius, and we're going to slow down these gas molecules enough to hopefully deflate this. Let's do it. Now, I've got an obnoxious light there for a reason. I'll show you. I'm trying to really deflate this balloon. And you can see clearly that the balloon requires less space for the gas because the gas is moving slower. So the volume is decreasing. Okay, I'm really going to try to deflate this. The volume is decreasing as the temperature drops. This is a proportionate relationship. As temperature drops, so does the volume of the gas. Okay, temperature, volume. That's the Charles Law. Okay, now, pick this up, and if you can see with this light, I'm going to try to show you, there's some solids on the bottom. Now, the reason why I'm showing you the light is on the bottom, you can see some solids. You can shake them and hear them, and that's dry ice, actually. Okay, so we actually have some dry ice solids you can see. But as this warms up, okay, this balloon will, in fact, take on its old shape as it warms itself up. So I'll take it out of liquid nitrogen, let it warm up, and the balloon, of course, will reinflate. Okay, take some of that liquid nitrogen out. Okay, pour it back in. Let's try to make some of it cold again. The balloon gets smaller, but as the liquid nitrogen evaporates, the balloon returns to its normal position.